In today's video, I'm going to give you my free AI tool I created that optimizes your Google Ads shopping feed faster and better. The tool is a custom GPT that my team and I at my ads agency, Bigflare, use to help improve our clients' shopping ads and Performance Max ads. It does this by improving your product titles. Optimizing your product title in your shopping feed can, no joke, lead to a 3x increase in clicks and conversions when done well. This tool I'm going to share helps you do it better and faster. Built into this AI tool is more than 10 years of my knowledge in optimizing product titles for shopping ads in Google Ads. I'll first show you how to use the tool to generate a better product title, then I will show you how to get that new title showing in your shopping ads or Performance Max ads without needing to change the title on your website and without needing an expensive product feed tool. You can do all of this for free. So with that said, let's dive in. All right, so here we are on my product title optimizer AI. And by the way, if you want to grab access to this free tool, then just check out the link in the description below. There'll be a link down there where you can go and grab access to exactly what I'm seeing here. So when you pop open the tool, you'll come to a chat window with ChatGPT just like this. And you can actually just follow the instructions. I put the instructions in here for how to use this tool. So first, you're going to want to paste in your product URL. So let's just run through a couple of examples and uh, let's do it on this product here. Ridge Wallet, pretty huge, successful e-commerce company, uh, but they don't have a very good title for their shopping ads. Now, these guys are really advanced with paid ads and stuff and they spend a lot and uh, they know what they're doing. So I don't think that this is going to be the title that's showing in their shopping ads. They've probably got a separate title for their Google shopping ads. But like if you are in this situation and on your store, you have just a really simple title like this and that is being copy pasted into your shopping ads, then you are missing out on a ton of potential volume from Google Shopping because there's so much more you can do with your title to get triggered on so many more searches in Google. So what you want to do is you want to take your URL here and you want to copy that and just plug it into the ChatGPT tool and hit enter, that's the first step. It's going to give you a little summary. It's going to uh, check out the page and give you a little summary here. And then it's going to ask you, what is your store brand name? So then you're going to put in your store brand name, which is going to be displayed at the end of your product title. So just write it in and I would write it in as Ridge Wallet. Hit enter. Now you're going to have one more option here before it generates the title. Are there any keywords that you want, that you definitely want to include in the title? You can just say no, and then the tool will just generate the title based on its own thinking and research and based on the super long detailed prompt that I put in there that's covering like 10 years of my knowledge in optimizing shopping feeds and product titles. So you can just say no, or if there are particular keywords you want to include, then you can enter those keywords in comma separated, right? So I'm just gonna show you an example of what happens if we say no. So then it's just gonna generate a title and already this is gonna be like a million times better than the original title. Like if, if they were running this title in their shopping ads, they would be missing out on so many potential searches, impressions, clicks and conversions. So I hope they're, they're not running this title in their shopping ads, I don't think they are. And a title like this would do so much better because Google uses the title as one of the biggest factors in deciding which keywords you're actually going to show up for in the shopping ads results. In the search results where it shows the shopping ads, it's, it's largely just dictated by your title. So this title here, if that was what they were using in shopping ads, it's going to trigger people searching for wallet and ridge wallet and highly related terms. Not a lot, uh, whereas this title here, it's going to trigger people searching for MKBHD wallet. I don't know if you know MKBHD, he's a huge YouTuber, Marquis Brownlee. I think he has the biggest tech focused YouTube channel in the world and uh, Ridge Wallet have been doing a collaboration with him. So this title here is going to trigger MKBHD, which is the shortened version of his name. People in the space will know that's Marcus Brownlee and people will be searching for MKBHD Wallet. So this is this title here will trigger MKBHD Wallet. It's going to trigger RFID blocking type keywords. It's going to trigger Slim Wallet. It's going to trigger Wallet for Men. It's going to trigger Slim Wallet for Men. It's going to trigger 
RFID wallet. It's going to trigger RFID blocking wallet. So there's so many more keywords this is going to trigger, right? And this was just the first pass. So it's going to generate the title for you. It's going to pop loads of keywords that it thinks might be relevant in there. And then you can make adjustments if you want to. Uh, it will also tell you how many characters long. And bear in mind that your character limit on uh, shopping ads for your title is going to be 150 characters. So I did program this thing to aim for between 130 to 150 characters. And I told it to aim for 130 characters. Sometimes it does a bit less. If you see it generating a title for that's only like 120 characters, then I would suggest you tell it to put more keywords in to get it above 130 characters. It doesn't always respect the minimum 130 characters that we aim for, uh, but that's pretty good. And let's say I wanted to add in some feedback. Let's say, uh, let's go for a bit of feedback here. So like, first of all, if you just copy and paste the results from this, like nine times out of 10, you're gonna be doing better than if you just had the original title. But where this gets really powerful is when you use a bit of human knowledge to actually improve the title. Let's say I just wanted to include Include uh, the reviews in here. So, uh, you know, include the number of reviews in my title. There you go. You can give it a bit of feedback. Uh, like in this case, this is a highly reviewed product. So, we might want to try testing out putting that into the title. And I just did that just to show you that you don't just have to go with the first output that comes out. And if you have time, I recommend you doing a few rounds of feedback to make the title better. But if you're doing this for like a thousand products and you just need to do this quickly, then literally just grabbing the first result is still gonna be an improvement on the original title in most cases, right? Now, if you then want to go and do a different title, you can do that. So once we get to the end here, you can either put in feedback or if you just pop in a completely new URL, you can start the process again for your next product. So let's just do another product, completely different niche here, just for fun. Alpha Brain, Onnit Nutrition, they're a pretty huge supplements company in the nootropics and smart drugs space. So once again, if you just want to start the process all over again, just pop in a new URL. Press enter, let it think a bit. Okay, recognizes the product. What's the store brand name? So you're always gonna do that as the second step and this store brand name is always gonna go at the end of the title. That's just how I programmed the AI because that's how I normally like to do it. That's how I recommend doing it. Do we want to include any keywords in the title? So, okay, let's do that this time. Like for example, I think it would be important to include in this title the word nootropic because this supplement is what's called a nootropic, which means it's a brain supplement. It helps improve your memory and focus. So let's just say I want to include nootropic and I want to include improve focus. Okay. Okay, so now we have an optimized title and it has included the keywords I asked for, improve focus, new tropic. And again, this title will do so much better and generate so many more clicks and sales than if they were just using this title, right? If they were just using this title in shopping ads, they're going to generate clicks and sales for people searching for alpha brain and related keywords. Whereas this just gives Google so much more information about what the product actually is, which allows Google to show the ads on more additional relevant searches, bringing in more clicks and sales. So this title is going to show for nootropic supplements, improve focus, improve memory, brain support, mental clarity, on it nutrition, the brand name obviously there. And once again, you can do a few rounds of feedback here, or you can just grab this title and run with it. So once you have your titles, let's say I'm happy with this title here. Uh, in, in, in real life, I wouldn't take, I don't normally just take the first output. You can do that if you're short on time. I normally do a few rounds of feedback. It's all down to how many titles you're trying to optimize today and how much time you have, right? Like if I've got 30 minutes to spare and I'm only doing one title, then probably I'll do a lot of feedback. But if I've got 30 minutes to spare and I know I need to crunch through 20 titles today, then <clears throat> there might be a lot less feedback. So customize this process to based on how many titles you're doing today and how long you have to do them. Uh, but I'm just going to now assume that we're going to use this title and I'm going to show you how to get that into your shopping ad. So it's actually in there triggering more searches for you. And what you want to do is you want to come over to Google Merchant Center 
Hey guys, let me just take a quick pause on this video to say that if you want to see more tools, tutorials and strategies to help you grow your business with Google Ads, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. I usually post new videos weekly and I cover the latest up-to-date strategies that are working right now in Google Ads and in growing e-commerce stores with paid ads. All right, with that said, let's get back to the meat and potatoes. And when you first come in Google Merchant Center, it's going to look a little bit something like this. So from the main screen, Google Merchant Center next, this is the new Google Merchant Center interface. And I think everyone has to be on this now. I think they've already shut down the old interface. So if you are on the old interface, which I don't think you will be, I think everyone's on the new interface now. If you are on the old interface, you can follow all the same steps. It just might be in a different place, but I just recommend you switch over to the new interface, Google Merchant Center next, so that you can follow these steps exactly. From here, you want to go to products. You will see a list of all your products in Google Merchant Center. And, uh, you know, historically, you've had like a choice at this point. Like, if you're using a free product feed tool to just plug Shopify into Google Merchant Center for free, a lot of the time, those free tools don't allow you to actually customize your product titles so that it's different from your website. And you really need to be able to do that to run high performing shopping ads on Google. In the past, I've often advised people, look, you need to sign up for a paid premium tool because all the premium tools will allow you to customize your titles, whereas a lot of the free tools don't allow you to do this. You can actually see the tool that I use on all my clients is Feed Optimize. Great tool, paid tool, allows you so many customization options. But if you are using a free tool and you do want to do this customization, there are now options for doing this, which you can do in Google Merchant Center next. And you just simply click edit over here, right? So you don't need to have a premium feed tool like I do if you don't have much need for one beyond optimizing your titles. When you click edit, you're going to see all your fields in here. And what you can now do is customize your title or your brand or your description or customize any of the fields in here. And any edits you make, the product attributes will now will then have this icon next to it. And when it has this icon next to it, so if I update this title here, okay, let's just do that. Let's just pretend this was a, a Google Merchant Center for Onnit Nutrition. So you literally just delete the old title, paste in your new optimized title and click save. That's it, done. Now you have a new optimized title showing in your Google Shopping ads. And yeah, I just wanted to say, once you have done that, you're going to see this icon next to your title field inside of Google Merchant Center. So let me see if I can, I mean, we don't normally do this because we have a premium tool, but let's just see if, I can't show you what it looks like because we don't actually normally optimize titles this way because we have a premium tool. It's a paid for tool. I wanted to show you the, the free way of doing it. But when you do it the free way, just editing your title here in Google Merchant Center, you're going to see the little icon here next to your title in the future. And what that means is that when stuff updates on your site, if you update your product data on the site, then your title in Google Merchant Center won't be updated. Your title, if you manually edit in here, then your title is now going to be manually locked onto whatever you changed it to. So that's just something worth noting. The other fields in the feed should still dynamically update. Like if you update the description on the site, it will still update your field in your feed if you haven't manually changed it. But once you've manually changed your title, now your title in Google Merchant Center is kind of locked. And if you want it to change again, you have to manually change it again. So just be aware of that. Using this tool and process around optimizing your shopping feed in Google Ads is going to help you a lot in improving your e-commerce store's standard shopping ads or your Performance Max ads, whichever of those two you are currently running. You're going to be wasting a ton of this effort though if you do not have the right return on ad spend or ROAS target implemented in your campaign settings. To help you with that, check out this video right up here. Now, lots of people don't put a lot of thought or testing into setting the right ROAS target in Google Ads, but it's actually one of the most important decisions in your whole campaign. So do check out this video to learn how to do it more effectively.